Hi, I'm Evan, and I've got one of the coolest jobs on the planet. I'm an explorer, and I get to explore our world. So stick with me, and you'll discover how fascinating our world can be. And maybe you could be an explorer too. Hey, Globy. What's that? You got a new brain bender for me today? Huh? Do I know what a paleontologist does? Well, maybe some of you already know, but here's a hint for those of you who don't. Paleontologists dig in the earth to learn more about the history of the past. Paleontologists look for prehistoric life forms before human history, like dinosaurs. Pretty cool job too, huh? I also know the folks at NASA are giving paleontologists a lot of help. NASA? Helping with underground research? That's right. NASA uses many tools to study and look at the Earth. One tool, remote sensing, can be used to help find where fossils are most likely to be. Remote sensing allows us to gather information about something without actually touching the object. These remote sensors are very impressive tools, but did you know that you and I have remote sensors as well? That's right, think about it, your eyes. You can look at something and get tons of information about it without even touching it. Now that's remote sensing. There are lots of different types of NASA remote sensing methods. One is called ground penetrating radar. This method helps researchers so they don't always have to dig to see what's underground. Using these sensors with photographs taken from the sky and historical documents, NASA gives researchers a head start on where to dig, what to preserve, and what areas to avoid. In fact, a few years ago, researchers found an actual dinosaur intact. No, no, really, with preserved skin, muscle, and bones. The real deal. Dinosaurs are usually only found in fossil fragments of skull and bone. But this was the whole dinosaur. Since dinosaurs lived hundreds of millions of years ago, this was a really amazing find. Back in 1999, a 10th grader named Tyler Lyson was exploring his uncle's property in Bismarck, North Dakota. I'll bet you he didn't expect to discover a mummified hadrosaur. A hadrosaur is a duck-billed dinosaur. They're called duck-billed because their snouts were flat. So I guess you could say they kind of look like the modern duck. In 2004, researchers returned to the site where the hadrosaur had been discovered and used LIDAR to learn more about the site. LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It's another remote sensing method. LIDAR measured scattered light to find a distant target. Researchers used this technology to make 3D maps. A map similar to this one was used to help researchers learn more about the area where this hadrosaur had died. Archaeologists then cut out a large section of rock and took it to a facility that would allow scientists to scan the dinosaur inside. The challenge was trying to figure out how to remove the dinosaur from the rock. The best way to determine the position of the bones in the rock and completeness of the skeleton was to use NASA CT scan technology. CAT scans are another remote sensing device that allows researchers to see bone and skin. NASA operates the biggest CAT scanner in the world. And this was a big help in the excavation project. The discovery of this amazing creature, now named Dakota, is changing what researchers thought they knew about dinosaurs. These and other fossilized remains provide clues to the history of living things. NASA isn't just about exploring outer space. NASA is about exploring all around our world. NASA will also use remote sensing in future endeavors, like measuring the depth of moon dirt on the lunar surface, or detecting water or ice on other planets, and finding the location of natural resources on faraway worlds. It's fascinating to learn how NASA is assisting paleontologists in exploring our world. Next time you're exploring something, be sure to use your very own sensoring tools, your eyes.